One year after signing the Inflation Reduction Act, President Biden is highlighting his administration's economic accomplishments. The Financial Times and the Wall Street Journal initially called my plan Bidenomics. I'm not sure they meant it in a totally complimentary way at the time. <laughs> but guess what? It's working. <laughs> Tuesday's report from the Commerce Department showing retail sales rose a better than expected seven tenths of a percent in July, marking the fourth straight month of increases. This latest report showing Americans are spending money despite higher interest rates. Inflation is lower than it was a year ago. Gas prices are up about 30 cents in the last month, but that's still nearly 10 cents lower than last summer. And average wages are rising faster than prices overall. Economists see this as evidence the country may have avoided a recession, but the economy is still facing headwinds. Experts predict interest rates will remain elevated through the end of the year, meaning it will be more expensive to borrow money. Things like credit cards, car loans and mortgages expected to cost more. Another factor that could impact consumer spending as we head into the fall, the COVID era pause on student loan interest and payments is slated to end in the coming weeks. Overseas, China's post-COVID recovery is faltering, prompting the country's central bank to cut a key interest rate Tuesday in an attempt to help boost growth. Officials in the world's second largest economy also skipped the release of a report on youth unemployment figures, which some see as a key indication of China's economic slowdown. Alexis Christophorus, ABC News, New York.